plastic bag. So we need to think about the, a design to save your baby or to have your baby totally outside of the uh, female uterus. The baby grows and then after four weeks, do the birth again. It's a very thin line between a dream come true and horrific science fiction film. We're looking at my design for an artificial womb. It consists of five big balloons where babies would be in, um, kind of swimming in their own fluids. There's uh, different circulations with the tubes, circulation of fluids, of blood. It's important to think about this because otherwise I'm afraid that it would just be copied from the lab into our daily lives. Mm, that is something that people probably feel really uncomfortable with. When I was a gynecologist in training about 27 years ago, I knew it was possible to do this. And the main difference is that an artificial womb is filled with liquid and the incubator is filled with air. An incubator is a kind of hostile environment for extremely preterm babies. Air damages the, the lungs. And so the baby is born now, very preterm baby, very small, and then we're putting the, the baby in the artificial womb and then uh, we are going to connect the baby immediately to an artificial placenta. The artificial womb is a liquid environment filled with water and all kinds of uh, minerals. So the baby gets the oxygen and the nutrients via the umbilical cord, just like uh, when they are in a natural environment. There we keep the baby for several weeks. The baby grows and after four weeks uh, we do the birth again. That could save a lot of lives. I was pregnant with James. He was really very, very tiny and perfectly complete at the same time. At 24 weeks, life began in an incubator. I was so obsessed uh, by the risk that James got an infection that we washed our hands all day long until they were bleeding. It's inhuman to have so many sorrows for such a little human being, but you can't protect him. I take care of the, the pregnant mother and usually it's a very happy uh, event in the woman's life. but cases that they are born extremely preterm, it will become a very difficult situation. There, there are several that stayed with me. Yes. This baby is about 800 grams and the babies in artificial womb will be about 400 grams. So half the size of this half, baby? Half the size of this baby, yes. I imagine Further down in the future, an artificial womb could become part of a lifestyle choice for women because you don't have to worry about the morning sickness, changes into your body. I think it could be very interesting for, uh, for some people, like if you think about uh, gay men. I feel like there's this narrative in society that there is this ideal of natural reproduction. Natural reproduction is not the only way. I think it's a dream come true. It's almost like magic. And I hope that we use the knowledge and the technology wisely. I don't think this will be a solution for women who are not able to get kids. I don't know what the consequences are for the babies. We do not, nothing to know about the short term and the long term uh, implications. This project will take about five years and then uh, we're going to start with uh, human babies. Thank you.